This is indeed a crucial year in Afghanistan, and I think any one of you who have been there must have felt the same feeling. It is a year in which we are all trying to, and together with the Afghan authorities and the Afghan people, to reach a form of stabilization of the situation in Afghanistan. Everybody acknowledges the fact that uh, there is no military solution alone for what uh, is the current situation in Afghanistan. There must be a lot more, and that's what we are working together on. Afghans have great hopes and great expectations from our international friends and allies. They are well aware that Afghanistan would still be under a bloody reign of the Taliban and Al-Qaeda without the support and assistance of the international community. But they are nevertheless disturbed by the ongoing debates among and between our international allies and concerned that sustainable progress may, may be difficult to achieve if we do not show patience, fortitude, and long-term commitment. President Karzai and others emphasized in this context the importance of removing names from the Resolution 1267 list. In consultation with other committee members, we are thoroughly reviewing each and every individual and entity on the list and determining on a case-by-case -case basis whether the listings remain appropriate. The United States continues to support delisting reconciled Taliban who cut their ties to al-Qaeda, lay down their arms, and accept the Afghan constitution. I personally had a very constructive cooperation with General Crystal during the period he was there. Uh, he was highly respectful of the UN role and uh, I can only speak well about him. Uh, on the other hand, let me tell you, I feel extremely comfortable, extremely comfortable with the arrival of General Petraeus. General Petraeus is uh, someone I respect, someone I know, someone I've seen working hard and effectively in Iraq. Thank you. Thank you.